and welcome back to my channel. If you haven't been here before, my name is Angie, and today we are going to be doing my interpretation of a Harry Potter scar cut fun thing right here. I did this tutorial a few years ago, but I'm hoping my filming is a little bit better, and now we got the, the glasses, so that's a fun touch, and this Harry Potter shirt. So I hope that you enjoy this quick, little, easy makeup tutorial on how to get this scar. All it takes is a couple of eyeshadows, a few brushes you probably have already, and if you really want to go the extra gory mile, some scab blood, which I will leave a link to down below. It's very easy. Can You can order it off of Amazon or find it at Halloween shops. So with that, let us just jump into the tutorial. So I already have all the rest of my makeup done, so we are going to work on the forehead. And it is going to be on the right side of the forehead. If you look at any reference pictures, that's where Harry Potter has it. And first, you're going to take either like a nude eyeliner or like a white pencil and just kind of draw, map out where that scar is going to be so you can get it perfect. And the best part about this is it wipes away with your finger and blends in so you don't have any sort of evidence left over. Now I'm going to take the Love Plus eyeshadow. This is a red eyeshadow from Sugar Pill, but you can use any sort of red eyeshadow. This I am going to take a flat definer brush and I am going to start to stamp it in on the forehead. This way I have better control of the line instead of just trying to draw a straight line. And if it's not perfect perfect it's okay because we're gonna go in after with a blending brush but that's why we did this line so you can just go on top of it to get the best line and the flat shape of this brush really helps and now we are gonna take a small blending brush and we are going to just tap it out so not swiping at first more just kind of tapping to lightly blend the edges to make it look more scar like and then we are going to go in with a little bit more of that Love Plus eyeshadow, red eyeshadow, and just kind of, again, stamp it on there, but very, very little. That's why I tapped it out first, and this will just kind of make it fade in and look more scar-like. So you could just use this eyeshadow if you want, just a single red eyeshadow, and that looks pretty good in my opinion. But if you want to take it a step further, Further, we are going to go in with a pencil brush and kind of like a bruise color. It's like a purple, brown, like that kind of color. This one, I swipe it in more so than like stamping it on and just directly on the lines that you place it on. And this just is going to add another dimension to that scar. And then we will take a even smaller blending brush and blend that out. And that one you'll just blend up and down like normal. And you're gonna just go swipe along that scar and then that way you will be left with a nice blended out edge. And I think that this looks really good too. Again, you can go back in, add more depth to it with that bruise color we'll call it. And it does look pretty good. But if you want it to look a little bit extra gory, we are going to add another step to it so it's more like a cut, less like a scar, but I love gory makeup. We are going to go in with the Ben Nye Scab Blood. You could use any sort of like thick blood and just run over it. They have it at Halloween stores. So with that middle spatula, you're just going to trace that line. Don't stray too far from the line or it's going to look really messy. The whole point of this part is to look like as if this cut just happened, that it hasn't healed yet. And this obviously isn't super accurate to the movie, but I think it looks really cool. So just stay with me here. So I tried to use a spatula to do this, thinking it would work better, but last time I used a toothpick and that worked a whole lot better. So just be careful for the sharp edges. Mine has a flat edge and a sharp edge. So if you have a rounded edge, that would probably be best. So I'm just going to use the pointier edge, dip that into the Ben Nye Scablet, and it just does a better job of picking up and depositing the color. And it's super, super easy. Just keep building it up more and more but until you get it to like that desired consistency. Yeah, that looks way better than the metal spatula was looking. And we're missing one more thing. Just one more thing. These fun glasses. So that is the end of this makeup tutorial. I hope that you enjoyed it. Um, I think it's a little bit fun, a little bit extra gory, and it's very, very simple if you've not done a lot of special effects makeups before. You don't even have to do 
like the blood part. So I hope that you guys liked it. If you did, don't forget to click the like button and the subscribe button, and I will see you in my next video. Bye!